There yes. is another story about two monks. Mm -hmm. The two Zen Buddhist monks are walking. And what happened is that uh, one of the monks saw a woman. Oh, yeah. Really. And the woman had a child, and she was ready to cross a river, but she was scared that she would not be able to cross it. So therefore, the monk who saw her need immediately went, picked her up on his shoulder, and took her with the baby across, left her there, and returned to the other monk. Now, this other monk, as they're Zen Buddhists, they talk very little. After two hours, he asked him, how did you dare to touch the body of a woman? Hold it even. And hold it, hold it. across. And take her across. <laughs> so then two hours later, the other one answers, I took her across and left her there, but you are still carrying her. Still so carrying her up to here, yeah. Attachment. <laughs> <laughs> the inside precept and the outside precept. Mm. The saints, the masters, they do things without attaching to things. They just do what they have to do. But other people, they do because of their habits and their desires, force them to do, even mm -hmm. though the outside appearance looked the same. There was one master in China, he was so famous and the king loved him so much that he bestowed about thirteen wives for that master. That was the habit with the kings, you know, to bestow beautiful women to somebody they in favor. Yeah, and if you don't accept the favor of the king, then you will accept the execution. <laughs> so accept the gallop. So the master, of course, accepted the As woman, and then all the disciples were excited. Yes. All the male disciples, of course, said, "Master, if you could have thirteen wives, at least we could have one." Yeah, two. Mire, maestro, could, we could have two or three. So the master took a handful of pin and swallowed it and say, if you could do the same, you could have even thirty. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> All the disciples showed their tongue and so that. <laughs> but of course, there was too extreme of the Master. Maestro. He didn't need to do that, to show off his magic. He could use logic, is enough. Yes, yes. there is the difference between people, not only masters and disciples. Therefore, I have taught you to be a frugal, fru frugal, frugal. Uh -huh. fr and not to be uh, greedy and exceeding your share. Yes, not to spend more than you have. It, when it's necessary, we take, we, we use. When it's not, try not to. Otherwise, we might be in trouble. Sometimes we might get sick. Incurable disease. Yeah, I knew one person uh, who practiced, and he he only always tried to to live on somebody else's, and he has always diarrhea. <laughs> the impure, impure offering. Sometimes we take <coughs> presents from other people, which is impure. It also affects us. Sometimes we don't even know that that affects us. But we become like we own that person or this person something. We just feel like we are bound to them and we don't know why, we couldn't get away. And sometimes like that, just because we take their presence. There Even is a story about Guru Nanak, and uh, two people come, a rich and a poor man, to give him the money, and he accepts the money of the poor and not the one of the rich. Mm -hmm. So the rich one got very upset and asked Guru Nanak, why are you not accepting my money when you can do a lot with it? Not. Yes, and then he took two chapatis in his hand and he took the one of the rich men and pressed it and blood came out of the work, hard work of all those people he exploited. Mm. And the <laughs> other one of the poor man, he took that chapati and out of it came milk. Mm. Is yes. that why also, you know, Master Charan Singh, for example, and the satsangis, they never accept gifts of the people, like if they... So. They know if it's contaminated, so. and plus he only accepts for the work, let's say, of the langar, if there is given food to the people, but never personal things. Mm. Or for ashram, and some people he never accepts even. He, he always pay for what he eats. And he always pay for what he eats. <laughs> From yeah. his disciples. He worries about his own, his own personal he works. karma. Yes. Yeah, yeah. For, uh, He's very, person. very worried. He's worried? Yes, yeah, sure, otherwise he would take. 
Por eso es que... He was from his disciples. He paid. Yeah, yeah. He paid for every meal he ate from every house, any house, from his disciples. Por eso oh, from es the house que of the disciples, that I you know. Probably he, he, his merit was not great enough, and he knows it. Probably he wanted to set an example to his disciples. Jesus. So even such mm. a master dare not accept offering from other people. How would we dare? Oh, yes. yes, I don't tell you anything <laughs> which is untrue. Yeah, yeah. Even the master get contaminated temporarily. How would the ordinary people? But there is a difference between an adult and a child, of course. If a child uh, has happened to, uh, to, to, to fall into uh, a mud mm. pool, he could not clean himself. Yeah. But when an adult falls into it, he could get out himself and clean it in no mm. time. Mm. But that's a different. That's why the ancient monks, and even modern monks, they never touch you. Never touch me. Yeah. Yeah. Indian, eh? uh -huh. when they give you blessed food, yeah. they drop in your hand like from two kilometers yeah, apart. Yeah. True. Por eso es que True, los yes. monjes nunca... Uh, they did that with monks and nuns yeah. also, not yeah. with only ordinary people. And that's why it came the custom in India, untouchable. It wasn't bad, it was came from those initiated people who tried to avoid, to minimize the contamination with the uninitiated people. And now they made it, they make it become a custom without any meaning. All of them are contaminated together. What's, uh, what's wrong with touching more or less? Understand? Both of them are the same. The touch and the, 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 touch and the, the, the touchy, huh? It's a custom, but it's same. The true Brahmins are those who were initiated in ancient times when, the ma when they had a living master. And after the master die and the generation die and no more uh, uh, lineage, and they just, the babies were born out of this Brahmin family, even without master, without initiation, without purity, nothing, they are not touch other because of custom. <laughs> yeah, even though both are contaminated, both are dirty. Mm -hmm. Understand? Yes, yes. So many customs are left over from the spiritual from the heritage. It's not mm -hmm. really bad. Just no meaning anymore, that's all. Some Just like St. John, he was a, a great saint, and even yeah. if he baptized people with water, he has a charging power. But now the church, they just sprinkle water on you with no power at all. Why did Jesus say that you have to be baptized by water and spirit, both? He didn't say that. No, no, he wasn't. He never said that. When he, he was baptized and John mm. said, No, why are you baptized by me, Master? Mm. You are above me. Mm -hmm. and, the, and Jesus said, Oh, let the law be done. I mean, no. let it be uh, now normally. Mm -hmm. I baptized with water, water. water, but the one who came after me is mightier than I am, yeah. greater yeah. than I am. You, right. I will baptize you with this uh, Holy ah. Ghost. Uh -huh. I mean, use just inside transmission, mm. you see, the ghost. So in a way he meant <coughs> only by fire. <coughs> That, that the Christian really has to be baptized by fire. That Holy, means, for yeah, example, fire and the Holy Ghost. That so means you, light. Ah, uh, that's the light. Yeah, fire. Okay. And okay. what about the tongue? Yes, yeah, say speaking in the tongue. That the Holy Ghost will mm. speak in the tongue. You see, uh -huh. speak inside. Lo que estaba diciendo es. That time they always say God came like a big fire. You remember? That is the language of the day. <laughs> So now you know why I know Jesus practiced Kuan Yin method. As our <laughs> so now finally give an answer. Just like in, in uh, China in the olden time, they say the transmission of the lamp. <laughs> lamp, inside lamp. Inside lamp. Yes. Mm -hmm. The lamp means the light, you know? Mm -hmm. Represent the, light. the light. Yes. Mm -hmm. At that time they used that word to symbolize the transmission of the light. But <laughs> After some generation, people put lamps on the temple and giving each other lamps. Say, you look at the lamp, and then you get enlightened. And so even nowadays, people, some people still staring at the candle, hoping to get enlightened. They stare too wrong, they get blindness. <laughs> yeah. And I know one of the very famous modern masters just died. He caused a lot of controversy. Right, yeah. 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 He gave people you know, the initiation day, yeah. he get the, uh, the spotlight, the small flashlight oh, with yeah. the spotlight, oh. he put it into your forehead, yeah. and this, and that's his enlightenment. 
The small light with very bright and very small. You know that small light. Yes. Yeah, small light. Yeah, the torch. Small yeah. torch, and it would flash in your third eye. Yeah, yeah. Close your eyes and flash. That's it, enlightenment. <laughs> Well, but he I made it rage. like a joke, like, a, like a joke, no? Uh, no, it's not a joke. He meant it really. No, I no, read no. it on the... On the no, no, no. He said that it's not a joke. It's not a joke. Is this a joke? No. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. You would ask them, they tell you. No, 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 it's, it's not a joke. Because he had many very intelligent students, no? Many professional people. Rich and professionals. Because they they were intellectuals, they like his intellectual way of reading yeah, and, 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 and talking. Yeah, I'm reading a book of him, Esoteric Psychology, and in that book he says, enlightenment just happens. We shouldn't care about anything or do anything well, to get enlightened. Everybody says that. He read a lot of books <laughs> and repeated half of them, three quarters of them. You can find a dozen books speak the same things. But whether have True, a, yeah. it's the have same a message. force behind that's different. Ah. The Personal point? realization. I read some of his books. Mm -hmm. What do you think? <sighs> he talks too much, nonsense. Talk for the sake of talking, like a woman, <laughs> like an ordinary housewife. Always similar things, Lattice. always about sex. Okay, sex is not bad, but why always emphasize? Is there anything else? <laughs> Nothing Because else. These are the things we should do in the bedroom and forget about it. <laughs> no need to always uh, print it on the newspapers or books. Because <laughs> it's a very ordinary thing, like eating yeah. or sleeping. True. Should you make a big deal about eating every day? <laughs> or why should you make a big deal about sex all the time? Yeah, well, if you like sex, then have it. It's your personal thing. And nobody stops you. No need to always glorify it and poke fun at people who don't like mm -hmm. it. It's not fair. It's personal taste. And animals, they do sex better than us. What's the big deal about sex? <laughs> mm -hmm. In fact, most, most of the sex uh, lessons we learn from the animals. So what's the big deal about that? That's, what I, that's the, I think, something wrong. You know why I think he emphasized so much the same as Freud? Because so many people are repressed. Mm. All Ay. over the world because of sex. Yo Even many que... monks, many swamis, many mm. are homosexuals, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and many would like to have a woman and they never have a chance. Mm. So they repress themselves, and I think mm. he became a master like that. God perhaps used him mm -hmm. as a vehicle to perhaps, bring this yeah. clearer to the mind of mm -hmm. the people. Perhaps. Because But he overdid it. Yeah, he went a little too far, like Freud, you know. I mean, they went to the extreme, only showing that. But if you read the Kinsey report, you know, Dr. Kinsey made two reports about the sex, what the, the people have. And there he showed, you know, how most <coughs> families, a husband and wives, they're all unhappy in their sex life. And therefore we have this disequilibrated society, the problems. Well, they have, have all kind of books to teach them already. There's no need a master. <laughs> books and films and circulations and... Topless show everything. You go everywhere to learn. Why go to the feet of the master to learn just that? Mm. Mucho no sexo. excuse. <laughs> If you said to me that only a master, uh, when he talks about that, is, is more powerful and all the monks and things can hear him, but not all the monks hear him. No, all of the monks rejected him. So his lesson will not drive home to the monks anyhow, true, whether they are true. repressed or not. Mm. It won't help anybody who doesn't mm -hmm. like sex, they never like, they never come mm -hmm. to him. Mm -hmm. So uh, who he helps whom? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Only those who like, who knows already, sure, come to know, him. Yeah. So yeah. what's the use? You give milk to baby who already has mother's milk filled. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And other starving babies you don't give. Yeah. Sex is not uh, the only f things that make people the way they are. Yes. Many people mm. without sex, they're very pure, they're very happy. Many people <laughs> with a lot of sex, they're so they're miserable happy, and, 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 and stupid. Mm -hmm, <laughs> Don't make excuse, it's nonsense. It's not that I, 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 I against sex or anything like that, okay? I just, just don't like contra. things, that, that just a very ordinary little things that make a big deal. Mm -hmm. Make it become like a, a, a doctrine of the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything in the ordinary way, natural way is okay. Mm -hmm. That's what I believe. Yeah. Nobody needs to teach anybody about sex, I tell you the truth. In the old day when the, they married people very young, nobody teach them what to do. They grow up, they have ten children. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, and who teach the animal? Who teach the animal how to have sex? Right. They don't need any books and films. <laughs> no necessity. <laughs> yeah, and they're supposed to be more stupid than us, no? And all the animals, they have sex a lot, and they have sex with anyone, and all kind of, uh, all kind of disorderly sex. They they would not get any better. No enlightenment. Buddha had sex with many hundreds of women because he was a prince and he had at least 500 beautiful women with him apart from his wife. And he didn't get enlightenment, but he did get afterward, even through all this sex. It, it, it did not retard him. It did not affect his enlightenment. When he had to get it, he get it. Understand? And other people who meditate all day from the young child until uh, uh, growing old and eating all vegetarian once a day, and then they don't become Buddha. Mm-hmm. So you cannot say any rule at all. Nothing, nothing. That's true. That's true. Buddha had many hundred wives. He also got enlightenment. Jesus had nobody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he also got enlightenment. So what? Yeah. 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 Oh. Yeah. I have to be logical. Okay. Mm-hmm. No fanatism. Okay. Mm-hmm. I Mid- guess middle way. Yeah. yeah. You know, a true master, a true, completely enlightened master, must be omnipresent. That's the only credit. Mm-hmm. I mean, he must be able to appear in different places at the same time. You mean in, in, in a subtle subtle body. Body. At the time of initiation, he must be able to show at least a few, yeah, few uh, manifestation body. At least uh, ten disciples must have seen, or like five five inner master at least, or something like that, oh. or two or three, even, two or three even. Mm. In every initiation must be like that, mm. or at least some, or, or fifty percent. Without this omnipresent uh, power, mm-hmm. you are no master, because you are not one with God. God is omnipresent, understand? Yeah, yeah. Yeah.